Chanel. My name is Coco Chanel, darling. Darling, you want to love me. You want to be a part of me because I am Chanel. <laughs> Everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I hope everybody's having a really awesome day today. We're actually diving into the new Chanel foundation and I thought I would unbox this box with you guys. So before we get into the unboxing and kind of get because there's another goodie in here as well. I would say hi. My name is Gabe. I am a 49 year old makeup artist. I've been in the industry for 25 plus years and um, I just decided to do a YouTube channel and you know here we are. So I'm actually doing it. <laughs> I've been up now almost it's like the end of March will be three months for me. I started right after Christmas. So it's about maybe three months and maybe a week or so and then on Instagram I've only been on Instagram for maybe I think it's been maybe since about mid-January, maybe towards the end of January. I've been on Instagram, so I haven't been on there very long either. So a lot of this is new to me, So, but it's very, very exciting and I love doing this. So I'm so excited to be here. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Um, I hope that you like me because if you don't like me, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, there's not anything I can do about it. <laughs> But um, anyway, I'm glad that you're here. And, you know, my old subscribers, I love you guys. You guys are so super awesome. I really do appreciate it. Um, another shout out to um, Carolyn. Just to say, again, thank you so much because she gave me a little shout out in her uh, KVD video. And I just have to give her a special shout back out again because she's just so wonderful. I just can't believe it. she does it. She's so awesome. But, um, you know, we talk backwards and forwards and leave these little messages on <laughs> funny how we communicate. We talk a lot. We'll just put that. I was going to go into it, but we talk a lot. We'll just put it that way. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are ready to dive into this journey with me into Chanel and let's try some really bougie makeup today and see what we think of it. And if you are, then stick around to find out. Okay guys, so I'm going to, and we're going to unwrap it. Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. Chanel and Dior. Oh my God perfect with their packaging and the way that they do it and they're directly overnight i mean i'm telling you man they they kill it chanel does like direct overnight shipping it's just it's just so amazing the typical chanel box is so beautiful though they're so awesome for presents and stuff they're so great um and you know then you have your chanel wrapping in the inside of it so i got uh, the, the chanel micro essence I got some of that, um, which is really awesome because I've had that before. And the also the Sublimage Le Grain de Visage. We got one of those. And of course the little um little bougie little Chanel bag that it comes in. We also have the brand new Rouge Coco Bloom. Um, we will be unboxing that in just a little bit. And I got it in the shade 110 chance. So we're gonna check out that today. That is also very new on the Chanel site. And then, of course, we have our um, breadwinner here, and it is the Sublimage L'Essence de Tante. I hope that I say that right, because if I've got any French listeners, I'm so sorry if I butchered that, because I'm pretty sure I did. But you know what? We are just going to keep going with it. <laughs> just pretend that I know what I'm doing, and I know what I'm saying, and it sounds great, right? <laughs> So a little bit about this is really pretty in the packaging. And then, you know, I've kind of unwrapped it a little bit at the bottom so I can pull it off a little bit easier. So I pulled the wrapper off of it so you guys can see it. So this is the packaging. It's a 1.35 ounce. Um, and we're going to go into a little bit of the detail of it. Just so, I mean, you know. Now, if you guys don't know, I actually read from notes because I can't read from my computer because I just can't see <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wear my glasses to see it because then it just look blurry. So I'm just, because my computer screen is too small. So I print them out sometimes. So there you go. Um, so anyway, so the Sublimage Ensemble Detente is a ultimate radiant generating serum foundation. So this is an actual um, skincare foundation. It's a, it's a, it's a hybrid of their skincare brand, which is the um, Sublimage. And if you guys have ever tried it, or if you've ever been in Nordstrom's or Neiman's or Saks or wherever, it is their um, very, 
very exclusive skin gear line that they actually have. So um, it's most uh, European brands or most lines have a up, up, up line, not almost a uppity line, but it's even more higher than like their Le Lift or the, the Hydro, which I got the sample of. And I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a primer with the Hydro Beauty. Um, you know, this goes a little bit more beyond, so only certain retailers carry it. But, you know, they have like the cleanser and the toner and there's the serum and then there's a cream and there's an eye cream. And this is kind of like, um, I actually have the um, Sublimage Laton, I mean, and the Laton and the cream. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. But, um, but yeah, it definitely is part of that brand. So it has like, a, it's got skincare ingredients with like a skincare based makeup. Um, so it has only 12 shades. And we'll get into that too, because... <laughs> Um, it was very difficult, let me tell you. Um, and you know, it is like, and, and it was, it's 150 doll hairs. So she ain't no cheap bitch, let me tell you. <laughs> She's a little pricey. She's a little bit of a pricey girl, but you know, Chanel, she high class, you know, she got to outstand everybody else. <laughs> So anyway, so it is what their description from the Chanel website says. It's an exquisite foundation with an unprecedented serum-like texture that melts into the skin and instantly creates a smoother, more radiant-looking complexion. Day after day, skin maintains a luminous appearance. Key ingredients, vanilla planifolia. <laughs> the signature ingredient of the sublimage, along with the soothing vanilla and fluorage oil and light reflecting mica. The sensual formula moisturizes and plumps the look of skin. Antioxidants help protect against external aggressors. Includes a deluxe brush for seamless customizable coverage. So leave it to Chanel to make it look like, yes, I want five of those, please. Thank you very much. Wait, so. The, so this is what the box looks like. Of course, it's very beautiful. And in the inside, you know, we have the, um, it actually comes with a little, well, it's not coming out very well. Um, it has the little, it has a little sleeve, but this is the brush that it comes with. And actually the brush is really nice. Um, you know, it's very nice. It's got a nice little, it's got a little point to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. And, um, then we're going to pull out the actual foundation. And again, it's a, again, it is a 1.35 and this is what it looks like. Ooh, isn't she beautiful? It's got the beautiful Chanel logo on the top of it. Um, it's glass with a glass bottle. So it's that very exquisite bottle that Chanel has. Um, again, you know, we have the, um, we have it, it's got the pump on it. So it has a really pretty pump. Um, it, it has a shelf life of 12 months. Um, so anyway, I can't wait to dive into this. You guys, I can't tell you how excited I've been about this launch because I am such a Chanel fanatic with, um, all their complexion products, I'm just obsessed with them. I have like so, a few of them and I just really, really love them, which you're going to see in just a minute. I'm going to show you just a few because I don't want to get too far away from this review, but um, I definitely want you to see them. So anyway, I have not primed my face yet. So we're going to start with actually um, moisturizer. So I'm going to do a little bit more because um, I've been to the dentist. So I had a little bit of numbing going on earlier on this side. So my mouth has finally come back to life so I can finally talk. But um, they, they, you know, kind of just, you know, kind of, you know, you need a little something up to kind of boost you a little bit. So I'm going to use a little bit to kind of give me a little something up. So this is the Camilla uh, water cream. And um, it's a very, um, it's not, it's an actually not a cream. It's more of like a lotion. It's like a lotioning kind of product, but I'm just going to put a little bit. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, sh all the Chanel products smell so divine. If you guys ever get a chance to get a sample of one, if you don't, if you're like, oh, God, I can't really afford that. It's expensive because I forgot how much this was, but I want to say it's around the 60. It's the more luxury. So it's like the luxury brand just around that 60 $65 mark, I think, for the moisture. And maybe even a little bit less expensive than that. Um, and then we are going to do a little bit of primer. And we're going to just go do with another brand. I'm going to do the Gucci. Um, and it's the Silk Priming the silk priming Serum. And if you guys are new to my channel, I love this stuff. Oh, my God. It is just, I don't know what it is about it. My skin is very dry. And most people think that this is like more of a combination, but for some reason, I guess because I so overhydrate, 
Um, it, this just, it just does so well on my skin. I just love it. I love the way that it feels. It's really, really awesome. So what I wanted before I was going to do one of the Chanel primers, I was actually maybe thinking about maybe doing my LeBlanc oil or I was going to do the LeBlanc Rosy Drops. I was thinking about doing that because I really love that. Um, I really love the Le Beige um, Sheer Healthy Glow, and it's in the Pearly Glow Highlighting Fluid. I really love this. Um, and then, you know, then um, I have the Boy de Chanel. I have this, the the Healthy Le Beige Hydrating um, make Makeup. This is one of my favorites. Um, I have that one. Also, I've had the Velvet in the past. Um, and I've also had, what was the other one I had? I had like one or two of the other ones. And I've had some of their older formulas, which now they don't have anymore. Um, but, um, there is, oh, and I have their, um, it's, it's like a tint. It's like a water tint. I have that. It's like, it's like, but it's so pretty in the summertime. It's really, really awesome. It's really beautiful. One day I'll have to show you guys, but it's really, it's a really awesome product. But, um, now let's get into this foundation. Let's see what it's all about. So I'm going to actually dry it with the brush. Now, if you guys know, um, if you're new to my channel, I normally use a sponge. I'm not really a big brush person. I did get it in the shade 70. So this is where the, um, shade range comes in. So, it only has 12 shades, right? So, the shade range goes to, like, I think it, it skips, like, it goes, it, it goes down a little bit. It goes to, like, B40, and then it skips B50 and B60. B60 is normally my shade. So, it skips that and goes to B70, and then it goes, to, and then it kind of just jumps around towards the end. So, it's like, so most of the shades are a little bit more on the lighter side. The medium tanned and the darker skin tones, it's not a lot of options in it. So, this may be a little bit darker, but I'm going to tell you another reason why I bought this. So, going back to the La Tint. This one um, is the B40 because this is, I bought like way back before I got really started on my channel. I had this a long time. I've had this for a little while. Um, but the thing about this makeup is it's a little bit more of a satin um, and it, it's, does, it makes my skin, to me, it looks a little heavy, or it's just, the, and then not only that, but it's a B40, so it, it kind of sits on my skin, so it's not really my color. Um, unfortunately, I never got to take it back, so I never got to exchange it. So, what I was going to do was mix the two together, because I'm sure they will be a beautiful combination together. Now, I'm not going to do that today, because I want you guys to see the actual foundation by itself, but it is, um, that is kind of my intent with it. So, um, and you know, we'll have to play with it and see what, see what, see how it kind of works. But I'm going to take a couple, I'm going to take a, a pump on my skin. And, you know, she's, she's very, she kind of serum-y. You can see it kind of serum. It reminds me, it does remind me a lot of the La Beige, um, the healthy one. I'm going to take just a little bit down here on my arm a little bit so you guys can see it. It's definitely got a very, oh, blend in my skin really good. Um, it's definitely got a, oh, you can smell it. Oh my God, it smells so good. But it is, it's very fragrant. Very. It's extremely, like it's got a lot. Like maybe, I don't know if it's going to die down a little bit. Some some of the Chanel, most of theirs die down a little bit and it kind of goes away. But then some of them don't. So this may not be one of those. But um, we're going to start off with this amount. And let's just go with it and see. So we're going to take my brush and I'm going to kind of tap in it. And the brush is picking up quite a bit. So it's picking it all up pretty quickly. And we'll just start on this side, and we'll just see how it looks. Now, I'm just, now this does not have a sunscreen in it. And it's supposed to be more of like a really healthy, that really healthy glow look. Um, and, you know, I am so dry that, um, you know, by the way, before I get even more into it, by the way, up here, um, over here, or here, or here, <laughs> I don't know which side I'm going to pick, but I'm going to put, I'll put up, like, my skin type, what I look for in a foundation, all that good stuff on, on one side, and then I will put up also, like, what, um, and all that good stuff, so that way you guys kind of know what I look for and everything, um, because I just have a little side note, so that way it just, it makes it a little bit easier for you as a subscriber to kind of know what my skin really is, so if you're more oily, this is definitely, you know, it's like, you know, since I'm dry, it may work for me, but it may not work for you. So, just to kind of give you guys options and, you know, and kind of give you an idea. Um, so, anyway, let me take a little bit. That one's kind of went quick. So, let me get it just a little bit closer. Kind of do a little bit closer up so you guys can see it. And it's not bad. 
I mean, you know, my face is a little, my face is always lighter than my body because I do sunscreen every day and I shave every day. And even though I will do self tanner on my face sometimes, it just fades like literally, I'm not kidding you, like the next day it just goes away. And the only way that I get, I mean, because if I didn't wear sunscreen, I will get tan. My face will get really, it'll get really brown. Even um, at night and in the summer, it gets really, it really, really, really bad. Especially if I start running a lot, it will definitely get a lot browner. Even with sunscreen, it will. That's beautiful. Wow. What do you guys think? I think it looks really pretty. Wow. That is pretty. Oh, God. Why do I have to like this? I don't want to like it. I was like, kind of like, no, I'm going to return it because it's the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, it is so pretty. Wow, that's gorgeous. It's so pretty. I can only imagine what this would be mixed with a little bit of the tent. Oh my God, it would be stunning. I can tell you, it would be really, really pretty. And this is definitely, um, 70 is not, it's not blending that bad though. I thought it was going to be really, I was like, oh God, it's going to be really, really dark, but it's really not blending that bad. It's definitely a little, it's definitely darker to my skin, but I don't mind it. It's not going to bother me. I'm going to take a little bit of a um, concealer and a little bit, and we're just going to, that'll just, I can even that out. I can work with that. So that's not a problem. Now I will tell you, um, first off, that it is, it's got a heaviness to it. Like, it's definitely like a moisturizer kind of heaviness to it. Um, so, it does, it doesn't feel super light. And maybe I'm, because I'm using a brush, I'm going to go with the sponge in a minute. But um, it definitely feels more, it's got that, it, what's the word I want to, how I want to describe it? It's hard to describe a foundation, you guys, sometimes when I'm doing it. But it's it's glowy and it feels good, but it's definitely got, it's got that tack to it. The smell is there. And it definitely feels like a more of an emollient kind of a foundation, if that makes any sense. Like, if you guys have ever put like a a cream or I don't know, maybe, maybe, um, even like your mother or your grandmother, maybe have used one of those older creams, like kind of like the, in a jar and it might've been really thicker or whatever. It feels like it's thicker, but it's not thick. It's thinner, but it's definitely got a, it's definitely got a feel to it. Like it's not lightweight. Like it's definitely not lightweight. You can definitely feel the moisture in it, which is fine with me because by the end of the day for me, um, this would be gone probably. So any tack that I would get, because my skin just sucks it up by the end of the day anyway, so I probably wouldn't mind it. But um, you now let me just pull out my trusty Tartlet palette and let's just see how it looks, shall we? Um, okay, yeah, of course, you know, she's a little bit, a little bit more darker, but if I mixed it with the 40, though, it would be a perfect shade, because 60 is a perfect shade for me in the Chanel. This one's definitely a little bit, but in the summer, this would be really great. It would be per it would be absolutely perfect, probably. Um, it's not very, it's not a lot of, it's not super coverage, but it does make it look really smooth. Believe it or not, it actually made my pores look a little bit more. I feel like it made them look a little bit smaller in the middle. Now, that may be the primer, too. That may be in the Gucci. Now that I'm thinking about it, it might have been the Gucci. Um, but, yeah, it looks really smooth. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, it looks really pretty. I really like it. Okay. I'm going to take my Chanel Le Corrector in the Rose Corrector. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit right through here. I don't like to go too crazy with concealer. But this will this will lighten it up just a tad. So, and I don't and I'm not a big I don't do the big thing in the middle and all this. This is more than I even use, but I'm just doing a little bit just to help with the lightening of it a little bit. And I'm gonna take just a tad bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, you guys, if you've seen that review, I've been really actually liking this. So it's actually been going pretty well. And I super hydrated my, underneath my eyes today. So, I mean, I put like three eye creams and I put so, so hopefully it will look pretty good. So we, right now we look like a hot mess. It brightened it up a little bit, but yeah, it looks really pretty. 
Hmm, not bad at all. Um, that's pretty much complexion. I'll go over some of the products whenever we get back if you guys want to know what I did. But anyway, um, I'm going to go off camera and I'm just going to finish up. I'm going to do a couple little things in my face. Just give you a little something, something, and then we'll come back and we'll do the lip. Okay, so we'll be right back. Hey everybody, so I am back. So far so good. I mean, it looks really beautiful. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go into the Rose um, Cocoa Bloom, the Rose, listen to me, Rouge Cocoa Bloom. <laughs> Rose Cocoa Bloom, yeah, I'm making them all names now, Chanel. Um, anyway, Rouge Cocoa Bloom lipstick. So anyway, so this is what the, this is what it looks like in the box. Of course, you know, if you can see it, it looks just like the, it's like the Chanel. Rouge Cocoa Bloom, it's just like the typical Chanel. And then this is the actual bullet. This is what it looks like, it's so pretty. And then the Chanel has like the CC actually has like a crystal on the top of it. It's how pretty that is, that's so gorgeous. And I have this in the shade um, Chance 110. And um, these uh, retail for $40, there's 20 of them. And I'm gonna read you just a little bit about what the description says of it real quick. It's a lipstick that combines long wearing lip tints and color and high shine finish with a hydrating benefit. What the color looks like, you guys can see it. And it looks very creamy. It reminds me a lot of the Yves Saint Laurent, the um, the uh, shine lipsticks that they have. The I think they're the Voluptuous Shine. I think that's what they're called. And I love those. But this is a really beautiful, neutral-looking lipstick. So um, you know, hey, let's just let's see it, and you can see it again just before I swipe it and whatever. But let's try it and see what we think. Ugh. Oh, Chanel. It's like them and Dior do the best lip products. Oh my God, oh, mm, feels so buttery. Oh, this is such a good color too. It's like a perfect, a perfect peachy neutral color. It's so pretty. They have a little bit of a taste to them, a little bit, you know, but it's a Chanel lipstick, usually they do got a little bit of a smell, but it's not too bad. It's not like overly fragrant or anything, but what do you guys think? That's beautiful. Wow. Mm-hmm. I love that. You know, I love me a peach. Mm-hmm. You know, that's right. I like me some peach. All right. So what do you guys think? Let's look at it up close. And I've already been looking at it up close because I've been doing my makeup, so I don't need to look in the mirror again. But what do you guys think? How pretty that is. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. It turned out really good. It blended in so well with the skin, even with the blush and the highlighter and the bronzer and everything just kind of came together. It just looks really smooth and really beautiful. Um, I really like it. It's The heaviness has kind of went away a little bit. The, um, the tack went away too. It's not as tacky as it was in the beginning. But again, you know, my skin is dry. So my skin just starts to suck up the moisture. So it's like so most of the moisture has already started to sink in. So the skincare aspect of it has already started to sink in. Um, so I can already feel that. My skin does not feel tight. It doesn't feel dry. It feels very hydrated, actually, which I really like. I like that. Um, you know, at first I thought it was a little heavy, but it felt because it felt like a really heavy moisturizer, but it's really sunk into my skin now. And I've probably got like four, three creams on sunscreen. I have two and three serums I put on earlier today. And um, yeah, and then what you guys saw, I just put that on on top of it, the primers and stuff. So that's how dry my skin is. It soaks up stuff. I can put on it all day and it will just soak stuff up all the time. So anyway, so what do you guys think? I love it. It looks really, really good. It's really beautiful. It blends seamlessly into my forehead around the edges. It looks really pretty. I really like it. Um, so anyway, so what are my final thoughts on this? So of course, a plus, you know, always for Chanel for the packaging, the everything. You get a little bit more in here than your typical foundation. It's a 1.35, which is a little bit more than your uh, typical one ounce, so to speak, compared to the um, Le Beige. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, though, if you already have this, they feel very similar. They're very kind of similar-like. Um, it's definitely a little bit heavier than this one. It's got more skincare ingredients in it, I think. It's just a little bit more. This one does too, but this one just has a little bit more in it, um, or actually a lot more in it. Um, it's just a little bit more heavier. If you're dry like me, and you're dry maybe, I would say maybe on the borderline of normal, but this is like more of a very dry, dry skin normal, 
I wouldn't say combination. I mean, if, if you got a really heavy T-zone, I would not bother with this foundation at all. Um, if you're oily, forget it. This is like another nibble. And now, believe it or not, the other one, the the actual, and the Laton, sorry, I dropped stuff all the time. Um, this one actually is like, this one would be a little bit, because it's more of a satin feel, believe it or not. I mean, it's creamy, but um, hold on, let me show you real quick. Um, but see, it's got that whip. I mean, it's, it's so much in the lid. You don't need much, but see, I'm going to show you. This one has coverage. The, uh, this, this one, I mean, the the new one doesn't have the coverage that this one has. This one has a medium to full coverage. But do you see that? It's a little bit more on the, not the flat side, but more on the satin side. So it's not really dewy like this one is. This one is more radiant. This, the other one is not. So the, what I'm thinking is mixing them together, it would be amazing because they would look really beautiful combined together. You would get like a nice combination. But, um, Oily skins probably would, I mean, it was still, if you're very oily, I mean, combination, I would definitely, this one would be oily, maybe, you would just have to powder a lot more, that's all. Um, but it is a really good foundation, and it does last a very long time, obviously, because you can see I've not even used, not even as much in this, and it's, this shade is just too light, and it makes me look really ghostly. Um, so, it's like, so I have to, I have to mix this with something else, that's why I thought this would be great to kind of go with it, to mix them together. But as a long by itself, guys, if you are, sorry, turn around, bottle around backwards. If you are a dry skin customer, this would be great for you. I think it would look really nice on you. It's really beautiful. It gives a really beautiful glow to the skin. It's very sheen. Like, I don't know what the wear time is on it um, because, you know, it's like, it's after eight now. So, I doubt that um, I'm not going to be wearing this like for a very long period of time. But um, if you're dry like me, it will absorb into your skin. I'm, I'm assuming that you might get a good six, eight hours out of it. I wouldn't say more than that because it doesn't make any claims about long wear or how long it's going to wear, what it's going to be, anything like that. So, I wouldn't like... Um, I wouldn't like, as far as that, I wouldn't like give any claims on as far as the long, as far as the long wear, longevity, the, the longevity goes on it. Um, but, um, it does seem very hydrating and it seems very great if that's kind of what you want it for. I think that would be great for that. Um, but, um, but you know, this one is, if you've got this one or if you have that, now this one, again, is not is do it's not dewy like these so this one's more dewy and this one now if you have both of these mix a little bit of this one with this one and you'll get a really good one out of it you know or if you have you know if you have this one if you already have this one I wouldn't really, I mean, to be honest with you, I really other than the fact that it's a little bit heavier, it's a little bit more skin care ingredient wise it's got more in it and it's a little bit more the price tag because this one is like i think this one's around the 60 dollar range or 59 60 dollars um and then you so you know you spend half the money uh, that you would on this one but if you're a dry skin person and you're looking for a very emollient beautiful dewy radiant glowy fresh makeup and, um, and, you know, again, this bottle will last you forever because you don't need a lot of it. And you can put it on with your fingers or with the sponge. I will tell you, if you do it with the sponge or not with the brush, you will definitely get a very, very sure coverage, which is something that I would really enjoy. So, I, will, I won't mind using the brush. The brush is really beautiful. Um, it's a lot better than the brush that came with the... I got rid of it. I hated it. I didn't like it. It was a very short little brush. and It was stubby. It just didn't work very well. This one's actually got a handle. It's really nice. It's actually got a nice... You can actually get a nice glide on the skin with it. The other one was really, it was kind of cheap like, and it just was, I didn't, you know, even for Chanel brush, it wasn't that great. This one is five times better. Um, but I think this, the cream, if I'm not mistaken, I think this one, I think is 125 and the new one is 150. Um, so I think it's got a lot to do with the brush inside of it. So, I mean, it just, it's kind of like a give and take if you want to. It just depends if you're a Chanel user or wearer. If you're a Chanel lover, period, you're going to love this foundation. I mean, eventually you're going to, you'll use it, mix it with something else. You can mix it with La Velvet or um, any of the other Chanel foundations. You can mix a little bit with it or use it alone or mix it with your other one if you have that one. Um, there, it's just a really beautiful foundation. I mean, I can't really say anything bad about it so far. I mean, I'd have to wear it a little bit. 
But um, I think it looks beautiful. I mean, I don't know what you guys think. You have to let me know down below. I mean, what do you guys think about this? Do you think that it's, you know, it's just overpriced hype makeup? You know, you wouldn't even bother with this. I mean, you know, I know that a lot of you guys have talked to me about being oily. So I know some of you guys wouldn't be able to wear this. But what do you, what would you, what do you think? Like, what is, what is your opinion on this? I mean, is it just a big bougie makeup? I mean, is it something you would buy or something you would be interested in? I mean, are you a Chanel user even? I mean, do you even like that? I mean, I have heard in the comments about some Dior users. So maybe you guys, some of you guys are Chanel users. So anyway, please give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. Let me think about what you think about this look. Um, the lipstick is per beautiful. I mean, it's a Chanel lipstick. I mean, can't go wrong with it. Is it going to wear long? No, it's, a, it's like a glossy lipstick. It just feels really good. It feels very hydrating. It's very comfortable on the lips. But I'll tell you now that in literally an hour or maybe 30 minutes, is you know, you have to reapply. You have to reapply it. But um, but it feels good. If you want a really nice, balmy lipstick gloss with a little more coverage to it, this would be really nice. I mean, it's a really beautiful lipstick. I mean, I can't deny it. And the color's really beautiful. And all the colors looked really beautiful in it. When I was looking at it, I couldn't really make a decision because all of them looked really beautiful. So, I think you would have a nice selection with the colors. There's quite a few. But um, anyway, please leave in comments down below. Let me know. If you like this video, please make sure you like, click, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, if you like me and you want to see more of my stuff on my channel, because I would love to have you all the time. Be part of my little family. Um, but, you know, and again, if you don't like me, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, I just don't know what else to say. I mean, you know, why could you say no to this face? I mean, this face. Mm, this face. <laughs> kidding anyway thank you guys for dropping in i really do appreciate it and um we will be having more of these soon so get ready because we got more foundations coming so anyway please take care have a good rest of your day and i'm so glad that you took some time out and to watch me and anyway take care and we will talk see each other again soon bye